Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a updater in Visible C Sharp. It will look a bit like this one. It's a test application I made earlier. Um, this button will tell you if there is a new version. Install now. No, you can do it again. Yes. Then this screen pops up with all the files in it. You can click install. It's downloading, download it. This one is a bit larger and all the files are downloaded and now we can click finish it will auto restart and the next version has these two labels and when you click you already have the latest version so we are going to make it in visual c sharp this is a class library so i'm just going to delete this class and call it updater inherit component component so component means you can drag it on the form and it will come up in the this gray box here make it public I'm going to add a folder with the data in it um, update file info update file info and a update save file made this one public and public also going to add a new project a windows form going to be um, update maker and one more the test updates like this in the codes here public void check for updates and a property string um, update URL a private constant string local update file equals um, just just the local file that will be downloaded update info dot data okay so here um, first we're going to download it catch exception later so here we're going to do web client Download client equals new web client. System dot net. Download client dot download file. I'm not going to use the asynchronized one because 
then I have to make it with the event handlers to check when it's downloaded. Um, download file. The address is going to be update URL and then the local update file. Download client.dispose. Okay, that's the first one. If file. Nope, not that one exists. Local update file. If not a file exists, throw new file not found. Local update file is missing. No inner exception and just local. Okay, that's good. If um, wait here, I'm going to do a clean up method that will clean everything up on the next restart. If the file exists, then we are going to um, update save file. local file equals decode save file local update file generate the method stuff for it we'll look at something like this again a try catch exception statements in here decode file um, this is going to use the binary for matter decoder equals new for matter file stream local file stream equals new no equals file dot open or open read local file stream Turn update save file info decoder dot deserialize the local file stream. Then we are just going to use the file dot open method local update file dot open only read throw new invalid data exception local update info file is corrupt okay no more warnings so now version local version equals assembly
dot get entry assembly dot get name dot version and then we also have the version the on align version equals this is going to be in here property string because you can't um, use the version version string in here you have to put serializable serializable public update info string the name of the file and property um, to do that you have to press double on the tab or click with on, your, on it with your mouse string the description now here you can put string name string description name is equals name description equals description okay and one more here prop and now you're going to choose the prop fill um, list of update file info call update files update file collection and now you want to press enter so the orange back color is gone and you press here new Next. well you don't have to do that but you can also do it like here maybe this one is better update save file info string version version string equals version and uh, update file collection equals new list okay we have some errors here um, oh, local file dot okay version dot parse local file dot version string. So now here, if on line version is greater than the local version, then we have a update else do not have one so message box dot show okay using system dot win oh it's not added to the references yet Window, window, windows of forms. This one added to it. Okay. Now it will say message box dot show um, string dot format version available. Um, install it now question mark and the online version to string um, dot YouTube updater um, a yes no 
the icon is going to be a question oh if we show it and it's equals yes then we want it to continue with the updates else we want to show a message box you already have the latest version YouTube updater okay information message box dot show error error checking for updates try again later the backslash n is just a new line um, the message error message plus e dot message okay icon dot error YouTube updater Oh Better So Now we have the add a new folder for the UI Windows form form updater Okay, gonna delete it because it's bugged again. Form updater. Okay, but I'm going to pause and I'm going to design the form and name every control in it, and then I continue the video. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I created a form um, with some labels and list views. So this one is label status, list view items, progress bar downloads, progress bar install, and the button install. So this one is going to be if button install text equals finish else so if it's finished we want to restart the application you can do that by clicking application dot restart else you can do download file which is going to be to download the file. Um, button install dot enabled false. Uh, 
int index equals zero. Um, we want to give the update save file info update save file private update save file local info file equals file progress bar install dot maximum equals file dot file collection dot count um, for each update file info in the file dot the collection we want to do list view item equals new list view item new string array with the value of file info dot name waiting and file info dot description okay that's good this to items dot items dot add this to item Okay. Download file is going to be web client download client equals new web client download client dot download file Download progress change it plus equals double click on tab and download client dot download file completed plus equals okay string base URL private string base URL me um, I mean this dot base URL equals base URL string local file equals string dot format um, let me see to be the base URL just local and this one is going to be string name equals list um, one second going to make the object here list view item current item equals list view items dot selected items and the index of one 
item dot sub items index zero and get the text of that one. And then we also have the string on line equals string dot format. So here the local file is going to be back point backslash and the name. But the online file is going to be base. Um, one base URL and the name now we have just to do some checks like if local um, if I mean if file dot exist local then you want to do file dot delete um, no 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 dot move local to local dot plus old um that will fix it to remove it and then we can do file download client download file sync new yuri on line local and the index plus equals one download progress changes Private void set status. Label status dot text equals string dot format status. P. And now you can do set status downloading 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 plus name Okay, one more current item dot sub item index one dot text equals downloading instead of waiting. Okay, download progress changes. Progress bar downloads dot value equals e dot progress percentage. This is all that need to be in here. Download file completed. One sec. 
So here we forgot something which if the local file exists we have also to, to check if file dot exists the local plus the old and if that one exists we have to delete the local plus old um, list view item item equals list view items dot selected didn't I use the Text equals download it. Okay. If index then equals let's see items dot items dot count Command one progress bar downloads dot value equals zero. This always have to happen. Download file. And if the so download it button install dot text equals finish install dot enabled true and This should be it. Um, let's test it out by making a updater.
Oh, one second, forgot something here. Form updater. Local file and then the base URL needs to be get paths of the update URL. Needs to be a string builder, SB equals new string builder. Um, for the length minus one, SB dot append. Return as we do a string. Um, string array update pieces equals sp dot split. Um, update URL dot split in let me see I think it should be this one Okay. Update pieces dot length. Form should not have a control box. So list view. version txt version button gen Generate button two is going to be add 
button add button remove and it's going to be remove name description Details at that columns. Name. Description. And just txt name. Txt description. Remove at generate oh. generate um, list view one dot oh did I it's list view one okay list view item item equals new list view item new string oops txt name dot text txt description dot text Okay. Um, list view one dot items dot Item is to one dot I dot selected items next one dot remove and the button generate is binary for matter new binary for matter. file stream we have stream equals file dot open update info dot that um, I'm just going to copy this make sure it's the same yes it is I'm going to using system file mode dot open or create file access dot read and write vf dot serialize vf stream and oh we have to create the other thing first what is it called again update save file update save file no 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 okay I guess we didn't add it to the references yet dot updater okay File. It's new. 
Text version dot text for each this new item item in File dot update file collection dot add new update file info item dot sub items zero dot text and item dot sub items one dot text okay that's it we have a error okay it's easy to fix now we have the last one to do this is just going to be where we test out the updater And as you can see, the update control updater is like this. Um, where did I put it? Okay. Update info dot dot. Okay, so we can already get the URL from Dropbox, copy public link, put it in there, updater one dot check for updates. This is version 1.2 where we have some random labels on it. Rebuild it. Dot updater test binary debug. Hmm. Not that one. Okay, so now it added it. Version one point two. Now I can go into the properties, assembly information, zero, zero. Delete these. Rebuild. Debug it to check. Sure. Yep, it's gone. Yep, it's gone in here. That's good. Debug. Start new instance. Okay, the update maker. 
this one. We want to update to version 1.2 at a um, what it's called. Update test dot exe to exe file adds I'm going to copy these files in the in the Dropbox folder too. The large light generic so we have a light generic dot xaml windows designer random no large dot zip large zip file well it's not large but larger than any other file in here random file dot txt random code I hope it works generates updates maker it should have added a file in here but it did not okay let me just check it out Debug start new instance. Oh, name test updates.exe. Dexe. Generate. Update test, not this one.
So I finally got it to work. Um, I was just looking in the wrong folder because it was on release mode. And I was looking in the debug modes. And for some reason it didn't add files to. So, but now it's working. So if we generate it and we go to the release folder, there will be this update info dot dot and let's go and put it in here wait for it to um, be updated okay I think it's good now yes it is and now we can go to the update tests I'm going to do release for because I'm not sure I'm going to add a folder called drag these two files in copy them back out and so let's test it out so the method operations are not implemented hmm Directory info. No directory info application dot startup path for each file info fi in di dot get files only the dot files. Um, I mean the old files top directory only dot delete YouTube updates, uh, oops, wrong folder, release, update test.exe. Hmm, let's try it out now. Okay, so version 1.2 available, install now, yes. Status waiting. Let's see where the error is. Line twenty six and from form updater. Form updater is in here. Line twenty six. Okay, I do not have the lines enabled yet. Okay, finally. Twenty six. The line of index is invalid. And line 59, which we'll call it. Okay, so I found where it is. And we have to change 
Okay, so it's here, and this can actually be in here. And we can set the status here to finished. Copy the DLL. Um, so now let's test it out. Install now. What if you press no? Exception occurred during the client request. Okay, works again. No. Mm -hmm. Let's press yes. You can see everything is in here. Install downloading. And finish. Now the weird thing here is that he did not Oh <laughs> I named it update text instead of update test. Oh that's that's a um, fail on my part. But I think I found a one more Buck and that's the maximum count minus one. Minus times hundreds and then we can just do here. This will make it look bigger instead of like with chunks now we have to go to the which is pretty annoying I did maker release 1.2.0 update test I guess it was update test.exe a exe file add um, light generic dot xaml you know what I'm just going to copy everything to make sure windows file blah, blah, blah. add large zip file at random file txt black codes at everything's in here generate okay he edited so it's good Make it upload. Close this one. We can now go back to the update test. The release one. Rebuild it. Ok, 
Okay. Yes, I want to install it. And yes, install. Finish. Is this file being used by AL process? Now the weird thing was is that it didn't yes install download it to and it's like already here finish So yeah. Um this one can be removed again. So the last test We're going to do before Yes, I want to install it Install Okay it's downloading the large file at the moment. Almost done. And finished. You can see it works. It keeps on saying that it's being used by your process, but if we now Restart it. it still says that But that's because it keeps thinking this file is being used by Dots. Restart should work. So, thank you for watching. Um, if you are still watching now, I'm going to upload the full source code to, um, I don't know to where I'm going to upload it yet, but I'm going to put a link so you don't have to, 
um, copy and paste everything so thanks for watching